be a sponge, and then bring the juice. By focusing on your improvement, by focusing on your progress, and eliminating any fixed mindset that you may have, and acts of perfectionism, then you encourage your own mastery. On some level, we do what we want to do 24 hours a day. Now, sometimes it may not seem like that, like, but if I'm choosing to work instead of sleep, what I'm actually saying is, Keeping my job is more important than sleeping. I'm tired of this. Like, I just, like, I'm tired of getting beat. What can I do to, to get over this hump? So mentally, that's when I kind of put that, that forefront, like, hey, it's either all or nothing. I, I, I like to put failure in quotations because I don't believe that failure is true failure if you're looking at it with the right mindset. The truth is the journey to greatness is hard. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes focus, and every day you have to decide what you value, what you want to pursue, and what you want to achieve. And if you dig deep enough, if you push hard enough, we all have what it takes to be great. Welcome to the Edge of Greatness. back to another episode of the daily dose it is friday april 7th which means it's quote day and today i have a quote that's going to build off of what i talked about yesterday seeing the signs so here we go all you have to do is pay is to pay attention lessons always arrive when you are ready and if you can read the signs you will learn everything you need to know in order to take the next step paulo coelho author of the alchemist I love this quote. I do. I think that it's, it's perfect because it speaks to a couple different things. One, it speaks to if you're ready. Because if you're not ready to see the signs, if you're not ready to learn your lesson, if you're not ready to be told what to do next, you won't see them. You won't hear them. You won't pay attention to them. If you are still in a phase where you believe that you have the only way to go is through and there's no lessons to be learned or there's nothing to be heard and this is you're in tunnel vision mode, you're going to miss a lot of opportunities to learn and grow. So you have to be ready to see the signs if you want to learn from the signs. The other thing that it says is, that, and if you can read them, if you can read the signs. Now, this is the tricky part because while I do believe that there are signs all around us, we are often blinded by what we want to see. We think that we're getting a sign to do something, to get somewhere, to do something. But in that reality, it is a different sign than what we were thinking. It's telling us something else. Are you reading the signs right? And that takes time. There were many times where I've read the signs wrong and I find myself in a bad place. And when I look back at what I was, what I was following, what I was seeing, what I was hearing, um, I realized that, whoops, <laughs> That wasn't where I was supposed to go. So reading signs is a challenge. It takes time. It's not perfect. But there's always something that you can get from that. And if you're open to it and you keep your eyes open to it, you can learn everything you need to know. You can start to pay attention to what your next step should be. There are options on where to go next and what to do and how to do it. Who to ask. This is the power of the signs. This is what drives me to want to pay attention to what's going on in my life. And if I'm on the right path, am I going the right way? Does Where should I go next? You know, I trust a lot of what I do to myself and making good decisions. But then within that, I try to pay attention to what's being said around me. Not by people, but but to me, through the world. And I, and I like this quote for this that reason. It, it speaks to the layers and the levels of hearing and seeing the signs, paying attention to what's going on. So as you continue to play around with your ability to see the signs, look into yourself and find your belief in your spirituality and those different things that are helping you to push forward, think about that. Pay attention to stuff. Read into these quotes. I think that that's a powerful thing as well. But 
Hope you have a great weekend. Uh, if you are celebrating Easter, enjoy it. And as always, keep reaching for the stars. Fall flat on your face, from whatever you fall. Always get up. Thank you for joining us today on the Edge of Greatness podcast. If you haven't yet, please take a minute now to subscribe and review our show. Join us again next week as we continue to dig deeper into the key components of greatness. The path to greatness is never linear, so remember to keep pursuing greatness no matter what. Keep stretching your abilities, reach for the stars, and fall flat on your face. But remember, no matter what happens, whenever we fall, always get up. Until next time, I'm Charles Schultz, and this was the Edge of Greatness Podcast.